Ladies and gentlemen, this video is gonna help you go from mess to organization, cleanliness, all in one video. Make sure you stick tuned. Uh -huh. What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With Us. What's up, beautiful people? To another episode of Don't Keep Up with the Joneses. It's your boy Ricky Jones here, and I am back with another DIY woodworking build. And I am so excited about this one because this one will change the game to my organization of my power tools. As you all saw, I will be making a power tool, power drill, you know, tool organizer. Okay, at the end of the day, rack, shelf, whatever you want to call it. I'll be able to further define and organize my tools, okay? Which is very necessary because right now they're kind of like scattered in a spot over there. Like you maybe can see it, maybe not can see it, but it is not the way in which I want it to be. So thank you to my, you know, YouTube and all that good stuff, all my friends on YouTube. Um, and I see now that I can build one with this wood that I actually have that if you follow my videos, which you know, I kind of do it like in a vlog type form, but I do it in how to bits by bit. But nonetheless, this wood right here comes from my cornhole build in which, you know, I had the whole debacle. <laughs> I did one well, didn't do the other one well. Boom, you saw the card. The link will be below for that video. Go ahead, check that out. It was kind of entertaining. But nonetheless, I have this extra wood, this scrap wood from that build that I'm gonna use for this build, this project. And so it goes along with what I always say. Do not scrap, do not trash, do not throw away your wood because moments like this will come around and you will see the need for it and how you can use it and your other bills. So that is what I'm going to do. That is what we're going to do. And that is what we're going to accomplish. So go ahead and smash that like button if you like what has been said and you like what will come forward in this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so go ahead and turn that red button into a gray button and without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and do some cuts so i can get closer to the bill and close to the completion of this here tool organizer rack shelf situation okay let me do that and we're gonna have some fun Woo -woo! all right i'm gonna try this voiceover thing so as you can see i am cutting and measuring the excess piece of the old cornhole piece okay because i know in cutting it i'm going to use the excess pieces for future projects so now i'm just cutting everything off cutting the holes out so that i have a even you know four corner piece of plywood that i will use for the back and then i'm cutting off the other piece of wood just to make sure everything is nice and squared because i'll eventually use that wood as my side pieces as well as the shelf pieces for the rack itself here i'm drilling the holes that will be used to anchor the whole shelf onto the wall there were already two holes in the wall that i was able to drill in two and now i'm just measuring everything out it's the width of five inches and that is what i have so now i am just making sure everything is the way i want it to be these are the pieces separating the rack at the bottom and then the little bottom pieces which are two inches wide Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so now that I have all of my cuts to the measurements in which I need them to be, I will now go ahead and do the assembly portion of this here project, which is the fun part and the interesting part, because it's always interesting to see how you go about drilling things in. Now, I've seen other videos where people have like those little sideways um, situations. Well, I don't have that, so I'm gonna have to like figure it out as I go. So if you don't have that little thing, that's like usually blue, and it's like a little sideways sinker thing or whatever my bobbery. Y'all know I'm a beginner, I'm learning all this woodworking thing. If you don't have that just like me, well watch to see what you can do to ultimately achieve the goal in which we want to achieve, which is the tool rack holder situation like that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do what I need to do to put everything together. Ultimately, hopefully, we will have something put together and then I can sand it, hang it, you know, dress it, and we'll be good to go, ladies and gentlemen. So let me go ahead and do that and make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Join the family. And without further ado, let me do what I need to do, okay? <laughs> All right, so I went on ahead and pre-drilled the sides. You make sure you want to pre-drill the holes because you don't want your uh, wood to split while you are 
drilling in your screws um, and so I did my sides first and then from there I was starting to look at the shelves I was wondering wait I did one side longer than the other but anyway I was like I'm gonna just keep going and then I went on ahead and did the bottom T pieces and you know because I felt like it would be easier to do it now as opposed to putting the shelf in and then trying to drill it in so I just took the time to go ahead and apply those and then my battery died so I had to switch batteries mid drill um, but it was okay nothing happened or demolished anyway from there i went on ahead and drilled all my t's in put my shelf in drilled it in from the side first because that is what i was able to do so i drilled my shelves in on the sides two screws on each side there from there i flipped it on its side drilled in from the back two screws for that as well just to make sure it had the support and ladies and gentlemen we have a rack well ladies and gentlemen it is complete i laugh because I can honestly say it's not the prettiest thing in the batch. However, I believe it will be functional and operation. Oh, um, I drilled the sides on first. So let me just give you a rundown of what I did to allow me to have what I have before you here today is I drilled the sides in first and then I did the uh, backs, which I did it all by eye. Checked in the front to make sure it didn't go through. And uh, only on one hole did I make a mistake. So I applaud myself because I have that good eye, even with my glasses off, to execute on, you know, the drilling side from that situation. So all that is left to do now is to, I'm gonna drill a hole on the side so that I can feed uh, electrical in through it. I've seen people do it. I thought it was a good idea. So I'm gonna do that. So let me go ahead and drill a hole in on the side um, because it'll go over there and the, uh, the electrical comes from this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole, hang it on the wall, put the instruments and tools in, and then my friend, we will have a completed project. I'm telling you, all from scrap wood. And I didn't even use all of the scrap wood. Um, I have a lot of pieces that are excess, so you know I will keep those for future projects. So uh, without further ado, um, what I can say is the toughest part that I had um, in this build, which of course I like to share with you all when building my projects is that um yeah my, my my situation over there it's not the straightest um there's a little slant in it and um it messed up all my cuts i realized i didn't have it level so make sure when you're cutting with your table saw and any type of saw that you use make sure that it's level because uh if not you'll have a little slant like my my pieces have a little slant however it is functional and it is mine okay so when we move i will take it because i don't want anybody laughing at me or anything falling and they calling me saying ricky it's because of you that i am damaged my foot hurt my foot broke i don't know what they could say but i don't want to hear it so i'm gonna move it when i go but nonetheless other than that it was a pretty easy build i must say i was able to do it in about an hour and a half is real time in which it took me to do it um so it'll take you about the same if you're better than me of course you could do it in 45 minutes so I'm um, gonna drill the hole in the side, hang it up, put the tools on, and give you a picture and a shot of what that looks like. And until next time, don't keep up with the Joneses. Do what you do. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and live your life to the fullest, okay? And we look forward to living it with you and, you know, because of you through this YouTube, okay? Just comment below, make sure you hit that like button, and we'll see you on the next video. Woo! Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have the life of the party! Yeah! So excited I was able to get my regular drill, my impact drill, uh, my jigsaw, uh, my batteries, my screws, uh, my sander, and my drill bits and all that up there. I'm going to attach my power um supply over on this side which i don't have yet so i'm gonna have to go and buy that attach it with some zip ties or excuse me staple gun staple it in there boom boom it'll be there um or i could just like drill a nail in hook it on the nail that may be just a whole lot better <laughs> um and then i run my power because my power is behind the great american flag so that is it ladies and gentlemen and just like that you can do it too because I did and whatever I can do please believe you could do it too and I'm sure you most likely can do it better so 
Without further ado, I love you and I thank you. And I will see you on the next build. Now, on tomorrow, I'm going to share with you all different tools that are necessary and vital for different woodworking and pallet builds. Okay, so you do want to make sure you check out tomorrow's video. It'll be very informative, let you know which tools of and tricks of the trade are necessary to make sure you do and are able to build successfully the different things that you have seen me build or different things that you're even thinking of building that I have yet to achieve. So make sure you tune in for tomorrow's video. Hit that bell notification. Hit that subscribe button so that you are aware when that video drops. Okay? I'll see you next time. Beautiful people. Peace out.